Hello there. I'm Sandy Anastasi, Psychic Channel, Intuitive Astrologer, and Soul Coach. I'm here with your Psychic Development Tip number 49. It's all about manifestation. As you practice developing all of your clairs and also your innate telepathic and empathic skills, you will begin to notice an increase in synchronistic occurrences in your life. For example, you might be decorating your home and you're thinking of how to fit in a home office. And so you begin seeing different types of desks everywhere. A magazine article pops up showing you how a Murphy bed converts an office to a guest bedroom instantly. Your next door neighbor tells you about the home office she's just created and so on. If you've been doing the work as you study all of these tips, I'm sure that you are beginning now to see an increase in the synchronicities in your life already. What does this have to do with manifestation, you might be asking yourself? The answer is everything. You see, what is actually happening is that as you are directing your now powerfully focused mental, emotional, and vital energy towards creating that home office, the universe is responding. It's bringing to you all of the elements that you would need to create that office. This is the first step in manifestation. It's pulling you back. It's pulling back the bowstring. It's getting you ready to create. The second step in manifestation is to release that arrow of thought and desire. You release it by knowing what you want clearly and precisely and then letting it go. Yes, just like you did when you were learning telepathy by practicing your telepathy exercises. You can't send the thought until you let go of the thought. You can't manifest until you let go of the thing you wish to manifest. You continue to project your will, but you let go of the thought. When you focus with all of your being, directing your emotional, mental, physical, and vital energy towards your clear desire, the universe cannot and will not resist. When you let that thought go, sending it out to the universe, the universe must respond. It will manifest what you want. It will either put it right in front of you, or it will bring you the elements for you to create it yourself. If your desire is not manifesting, you have yourself set up resistance to it. Perhaps you aren't really clear about what you want. Maybe you do want a home office, but you don't really want to bring work home with you. You just canceled out your desire when you did that. Do you see that? Maybe you want that sexy guy or girl to go out with you, but you're not sure if they are the one you are supposed to be with. You're blocking that date from ever occurring. You must be clear about what you want. There can be no confusion. Another way that you can hold back your manifestation is by not letting the thought go. You must send it out with the sure knowledge that it will be yours. There can be no uncertainty. If you don't let go of the thought, it will always remain just a desire, not something that you are able to manifest. If you have these synchronicities appearing in your life now, you are already a manifester. It's easy to do manifestation with little things that don't really matter, start there and then do it with the big things. I'm Sandy Anastasi. Visit me on my website at www.sandyanastasi.com. Check out all of my classes, my VIP community, my open community where you can communicate and talk with other people just like yourself. I will see you again soon 
with another psychic development tip. Thank you so much for being here. Bye-bye.